Okay, convex polygons have an all interior angles less than 180. A non-convex polygon has at least one interior angle greater than 180. Hello, hello. So the sum of the interior angles, which is the angle sum in a polygon with n number of sides, is given by angle sum, big S, equals to 180, which you can remember is a triangle, times the number of sides minus 2, which is the number of triangles that will be in that. So uh, number of sides minus 2 is 1, triangle is 180. Uh, quadrilateral has two triangles in it. So 4 minus 2 is two triangles. Beep, 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 is 360, and it just goes on down the line. So whatever it is, number of sides minus 2 tells you the number of triangles. So regular polygons have equal length sides and equal interior angles. So the sum of all exterior, this is crazy, all exterior angles of every polygon in existence is 360. That's outrageous, but it works. So we can show here that a pentagon, and I'll show you how we do it, um, the, th the 360 exterior sum, so all these exterior angles, they will add up to 360 for any polygon. It's crazy. So remember, we have special properties for parallelograms um, uh, and all their sort of, uh, well, they're all parallelograms, aren't they? <clears throat> so you've got a parallelogram that's uh, a rectangle on a slant, and we're knowing that um, we have two pairs of parallel sides, and then we have relationships of those angles uh, opposite each other, a rhombus being the same thing, a rectangle where all 90 as well as a square. A square is a rhombus with all 90 degrees. Oh, that's a great way to describe that. And a kite. We know that these guys are going to be equal. Certainly not these guys. And a trapezium has two parallel lines, which makes me think we have a special relationship there. But let's just nut it out. So here, what we've got is a quadrilateral and 100, I'll just choose at random, plus 80 plus 110 plus x is going to be equal to, let's go back and check, a quad is 4 side minus 2, that's 360. So all of those interior angles are going to add up to 360. So if we put them all together, so we go, what is that going to add up to? 180, plus x equals 360. So x is going to be equal to 70 degrees, because they will all add up to 360. For b, now here's the deal. If that is s degrees, and we have this special uh, shape, which is a kite, there's our kite, then we know that this is also going to be s degrees. So we've got two s's, don't we? Plus 60, plus 40. And what is that? It's still a quadrilateral, so it's still going to equal to 360. So we've got two s's plus 100, 60 and 40. So we take off 100 from both sides. Two s's equals 260. So one s must be equal to 130 degrees. Now this is kooky. This is crazy. So yeah, we have um, a trapezium here, and we know that the interior angles are going to add up to 360, but uh, we don't really know what the other puppies are. But the good news is that we actually have co-interior angles here, because we've got two parallel lines. So we'll have 125 plus y is equal to 180, because we've got parallel line, parallel line, transversal. So that means that we have y is equal to 180 minus 125, and it looks like it's right, 55 degrees. Now, uh, this is a little bit trickier. So for each polygon, find the angle sum using 180 times the number of sides minus 2, and then find the value of the pronumerals. So number of sides, <laughs> number of sides equals 6. So we're going to use 180 times the number of sides, 6 minus 2. So 180 times 4. So that is 720. So that's our interior angle sum. And so now, oh, good lordy lord, we're going to add 1. Hey there, plus, it doesn't matter because they're associative, plus 480. So if we work that all out, we find that 240 is A, 
a is 240 degrees, and that makes sense because that is a reflex angle. Now for this one, all the a's in the world are going to add up to 360. The number of sides is equal to 8, and we know that the angle sum is 180 times 8, number of sides minus 2, so it's 180 times 6, which is 1080. So that's our angle sum. So how many b's do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, well, of course 8. So our angle is going to be 8 b's equals 1080, isn't it? Because that's a regular octagon. So if we divide all of that by 8, we find that b is 135. And if b is 135, then we look at the exterior angle. They are supplementary angles. So 180 is going to be equal to a plus b, or a plus 135. So therefore, I'm skipping a step, a is equal to 45 degrees. And there you go.